Hello, my name is Nick Harvey and I'm a general surgical trainee in Brighton in England. During my training I often felt that online resources could have helped me much more but there was never one website that covered all of the areas required at undergraduate level. Because of this I have founded MemorableMedicine.com, an online learning resource aimed initially at undergraduates on their clinical surgery attachments. You can visit the website at www.memorablemedicine.com. I have developed these lectures as an introduction to clinical surgery. My aims are to produce a systematic and structured introduction to history taking and clinical examination, to cover history and examination in all of the important general surgical problems which are sometimes missed on an attachment, to develop the skill of interpreting patient symptoms and signs into a diagnosis and to develop a basic understanding of the common surgical conditions. They say that more than 80% of the diagnosis is in history taking and it's also your first chance to develop a rapport with the patient so it's important to do this well. All histories should start with the patient demographics including name, age, gender and occupation. An open question should then elicit the presenting complaint in the patient's own words before going on to the history of presenting complaint. This must contain the order of events including dates if need be. There are often important closed questions to be answered which will be covered in the lectures that follow. We must then cover past medical history, drug history including dosages and any allergies, family history of which cancer and cardiovascular disease are probably the most important, and lastly social history which not only includes habits such as smoking and alcohol but also home circumstances, mobility and any recent travel. After taking a history examination follows and after gaining consent, washing our hands and checking for any pain, we begin by assessing the patient as a whole and for any systemic upset, but then we focus on performing a local examination of the system involved in the presenting complaint. This always consists of an inspection followed by palpation, percussion and auscultation in that order. Thank you for listening. I hope you will enjoy and benefit from the lecture series that follows. Please visit my website for more learning material.